Hi, this is Jared Abrams with Cinema 5D. I'm here with Neil Smith from HDI Rawworks at the Creative Sphere Expo event. Neil, can you tell us a little bit about why you're here and what you've got going on here? Jared, let me tell you a couple of things, right? If you'd asked me a year ago, would I be having a conversation about HD digital SLRs with serious filmmakers, I would have said, no way, Jose, right? But seriously, over the last nine months, we've seen more and more serious filmmakers come to us and ask us about these HD digital SLRs. And we, you know, we're a red house. We were the first to grade red when it first came out. We graded Sony F35 film and everything. And at first, we didn't take it very seriously, HD digital SLRs, who does, right? But the reality is, the quality of imagery that you get off cameras like the 7D, like the 5D, like the 1D, is absolutely stunning. And for us, as a post house, image quality matters. And for us, what we've, what we've started to understand now is that shooting with these HD digital SLRs, if you have a good DP who knows how to light and, and frame and expose, and you have a good story, you can make a serious movie with a $1,700 camera. That's why we're here at Creatosphere today. Neil, how do you see the workflow for these DSLRs going in the future? What, what do you see um, happening with them and how are you making it easier at HCI Rawworks for people to seamlessly integrate this workflow into the editing systems that are available right now? Good question. My official title is DI Supervisor, Digital Intermediate Supervisor. We're normally the last people to touch a movie. Everything comes to us, we finish it, we hand it over to the distributor. My unofficial title over the last six months has become Pre-Post Consultant. And what we're finding now with filmmakers who have really got this well sussed is this. As soon as you think you're going to shoot on one of these HD digital SLR movies, cameras, come and talk to us up front and then we'll work with your DP to do the camera test, we'll work with your editorial department to make sure that we give, we give them the right kind of dailies that they can use and then we'll also be working with VFX and audio to, make, to ensure that the data pipeline and the image pipeline from camera to screen all fits together. A mistake that lots of indie filmmakers make with these cameras is they start at the beginning first question I ask is where do you want to end and we work away backwards so these cameras as you know shoot H.264 not something you want to edit in so the first question you're going to, we ask is how are you going to edit you're going to do Final Cut Pro or Avid so then what we do then is make sure that we give the editorial guys H, you know if they're doing FCP ProRes 42 HQ if we do it in the right way that offline you know you shoot your movie you shoot your short your editor cuts it that offline then becomes your online and we color correct, especially if it's an FCP show or an Apple show, we go from FCP to Apple color and we grade your, off, your, on, your offline becomes the online and we grade that and it's a very efficient workflow and then we can output to HD Cam SR, film, Blu-ray, Stingray, whatever you want, right? It really works well. So workflow is all about starting at the end and coming to us or whoever you're going to work with and thinking about every single link in the imaging and data pipeline before you touch the camera. And if you're smart and you do that, it's very, very straightforward. If you just do it one step at a time, you can end up going down cul-de-sacs. So wherever you're working with, if you're going to shoot on Canon or any HD, HD digital SLR camera, talk to your post house first and make sure they've got editorial sorted out, VFX, audio, everything.